Uh, hey there, it's me. Uh, but your boy, you know me. Online is uh, Jimmy Knife Fingers back at it again with another a vlog. Uh, the kids are doing the vlogs these days. I figured that's what I gotta do to stay relevant. I don't know. So I figured I'd uh, talk about my experience I had recently. I was walking down, walking down the block by my house. I was passing the deli, and there's this kid out there, and he's this kid is who. This kid is eating this sandwich. He's going to town on it. I don't know. I've never seen such elegance when it comes to eating a sandwich. Um, you know, this kid must be must have been uh, six foot two fifty, but the way he was eating the sandwich was just like it was art. It really was. It was. It was like watching watching um Mikey uh Mikey Angelo paint the paint the Sistine Chapel or something like that. I don't. I don't know how to describe it. Just whew, he was just eating it from every angle, and not not once, not never did did his meat it didn't slide off. It didn't slide off the bread at all. He was you eat from the one side and the other side, and never the the meat never slipped off. Never there was no overhang, no nothing, and you know the fucking the teeth on this kid. It was like. The canines, you should have, you should have seen them. It was like fucking, uh, I don't know, uh, Mike, Mike J. Fox and uh, Teen Wolf. The fucking teeth on this kid. He was slicing through that bread like butter with those teeth, man. And I walked up to him and I was, hey, what, what kind of sandwich you got there? Is it a little, little mayo, little mayo on there? Maybe some mustard. What are we, what are we working with? What kind of, what kind of tools do you have that you're able to? do such amazing work it was like it was like watching a uh, mozart uh, conduct an orchestra or something the way he was eating the sandwich and he's it was an italian you know it's uh got some ham on there salami maybe some provolone some capicole uh salt pepper uh, i don't know what else was on there uh vinegar oil oregano but uh you know made me think about this kid and you ever wonder if he could take some kind of skills like that elsewhere? Who knows if he's got the, the tools, the real tools, the fork, the fork, the knife. How would he, how would he handle a, a T-bone steak? Is he gonna elegantly carve with delicate precision around the, around that that bone with a knife? I don't know. Could he handle a Could he handle a wrap of chicken Caesar? I mean, I'm sure he could handle a panini. It's basically the same thing as the sandwich he was eating. It's just pressed. If anything, that's easier to eat. But uh. I know it just got me thinking, uh, you know, the, just the magic I got to experience. Um, Sun Tzu in the Art of Voice, I believe he said, uh, don't let the sandwich slide down your throat. Slide down the throat of the sandwich. So I feel like I witnessed, I witnessed greatness and I witnessed the Art of War just in action. So... Uh, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, hopefully, some life advice for your day that will hopefully uh, progress, make things easier. A little snip, snip a dit, snip a, a little snip a doodle. Um, that could uh, be some good advice uh, for how you handle your life. Again, this is your your boy uh, Jimmy Knife Fingers uh, signing off. Thanks for watching my vlog. Uh, later.